Well, hello, all you wonderful people out there in the dark. It's so nice to see you again. So, today I want to share with you my latest acquisition. As usual, I spared no expense. Uh, but we've got to travel back, if you will, to 1962 to appreciate this. So I think to set the mood, we need uh, a little atmosphere. That's better. 1962. So House of the Mouse, Disneyland, Anaheim, California. It's 1962. Um, at that time, there were three shooting galleries. Um, uh, one eventually closed in 62, actually, but it was on Main Street uh, on the left-hand side. It's actually where the Gibson Girl Kitchen exists today. Uh, for purposes of this conversation, we'll just say it closed December of 62. Uh, there was the Frontierland Shooting Gallery, which still exists today. And in 1962, they opened the third shooting gallery in Adventureland, and it was known as the Big Game Safari Shooting Gallery. And it was directly across the street from uh, the Jungle Cruise. And the idea was, I, I believe, you know, a, a guest could go and hone their shooting skills, um, give themselves a chance to prepare for the, the uh, waiting adventure that the Jungle Cruise was gonna provide. Um, um, and of course, Disneyland being Disneyland, they never miss an opportunity to peddle uh, some products. So uh, the True View Big Game uh, Safari Picture Gun, which is what this is, and we'll do some close-ups here in a moment with its original box. Uh, this is one of the souvenir tie-ins that was produced by uh, uh, the True View Company. Now, most of us would know the True View Company uh, because they also produce the world famous Viewmaster and Viewmaster Reels. I think every, uh, well, certainly every boomer and every generation X had a, had a viewfinder at home. You know, when you put it up to your eyes and, and rifle through the circular. You know what? I'll show you a picture. Here, here take a look. Here's a viewfinder. Right, you have it. Um, but anyway, this this was sold um, um, this, this was sold as a as a novelty item in the Adventureland shops uh, at Disneyland, uh, and I believe you could also probably get it at the Sears catalog and probably the Monkey Wards catalog. Um, and at, at that time in 1962, or presently at, it was a, a whopping two dollars and ninety five cents. Now the idea behind this, uh, and I'll, I'll show you a video here. Is you know your your son or daughter would look through the the viewfinder, and uh, you'll see in a moment you 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 pull the trigger and you wrap you know it, it rotates some pictures. You'll see a picture that has a target. You pull the trigger and you, you shoot the animal. Um, well, as a matter of fact, here here take a look. We're gonna zoom in right now. Zoom in. And take a look. Kind of cool, right? So uh, um, the 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 shooting gallery in Adventureland ultimately closed in 1982 to make way for a gift shop. Uh, but again, this is one of the surviving uh, items, and I think it's uh, pretty awesome. It, it does function. Again, the box. Here's uh, here's some close-up video of the the toy itself, as well as a couple of pictures of. Um, Disneyland circa 1962, I think I was able to capture uh, where the shooting gallery in Adventureland was located for your viewing pleasure. But anyway, take a look.
kind of cool, right? Um, again, the gun is in impeccable shape. Um, I think they're pretty rare. I don't know if you'll see another one. Maybe they will. I don't know. Now that I found one, there'll be hundreds of them. Uh, but but anyway, uh, just a piece of Disneyland history um, that's kind of interesting. They certainly wouldn't do anything like this uh, today. Uh, I'm sure this would be frowned upon by uh, a whole lot of people, but I thought it was super cool. So in this world, when you could be anything you want, you'd be kind, you'd be humble, you'd be forgiving, and... Uh, We'll see you next time. Thank you so very much for watching and uh, have a good night. Bye.